What is going on guys? This is Ben here, bringing another Yu-Gi-Oh! video back after a very long time not opening up anything on the channel. I apologize. I don't know, I kind of took a, like a tiny bit, bit of a break after Yu-Gi-Oh! Nationals. Um, I can go over some of that in depth more, than, more often than not, but we're back now. We're back playing my favorite deck, Heroes. Maybe I'll make a deck profile on that. Uh, we're also kind of interested in the Marenses cards here, but yeah, my first booster box opening in a very long time. So definitely like if you guys are excited and want to continue to see more. Well, it doesn't matter whether you want to see it or not. It's coming. So I'm back in action here after a long hiatus, but we got Rising Rampage and a really curious, interesting set in here because of the new, it's like kind of like super, or what is it, like secret prismatic rares, parallel rares, whatever. They're, they're technically people are kind of like, even on TCG, they're listing them as prismatic secret rares, but they're very rare to pull out of here. There's four cards in this set that have them. Uh, we have two booster box today of the new set Rising Rampage. So hopefully this goes well. Um, I don't mean they're, I think, I forget what it's saying, one in every 50, or it's 50 times more than a, pulling a secret rare is what they said on their little Yu-Gi-Oh video, White Aura Monorceress. But uh, we're probably just gonna go a little quick today. Um, you guys probably have already seen a lot of the Rising Rampage. If it's like an interesting card that I think, or some of the Marincess stuff, I will read it for you guys. But other than that, we'll go quite quick because we got two of them here. We got White Howling. This is one of the cards that actually will be in the Prismatic Secret Rare. So this one is effect is if you control a water monster, target one spell in your opponent's graveyard, banish it, and if you do, for the rest of this turn, negate all spell effects on your opponent's field. So this is actually a very interesting card because it kind of like stops Sky Striker in a way, and Sky Strikers are also maybe playing this with Shizuku on their end turn. So you could play this with a bunch of different water monsters, or water type decks, and it, like I said, it comes in the Prismatic or the pa Prismatic Parallel Rare, I don't know. They, they're calling it Prismatic Secret Rare, so let's go with the new Rarity, how does that sound? But yeah, four cards in the set, there's one Rare card, um, the other one is White Howling, but obviously, they're very hard to pull. And then Appalooza, the Goddess Bow, Oh my gosh, that also comes in it, but she is a secret rare, so probably the hardest one to get out of everyone else, but we got another super rare there. So, this set, honestly, Overwatch, like, aside from, like, the new rarity and Appalooza and maybe the Marincess stuff is not the greatest, but it's got some interesting and good cards in here. We got Ilkos, the Dream Mirror Sprite, or Spirit. This is the new, like, kind of... TCG archetype, but we don't I don't know if it's gonna be so good unless they get more support Because um, you guys know how dangers were just like kind of just like a couple danger cards and they're generically good The the dream mirror stuff. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see more on it. Um, there's another dream mirror card there basically it's uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna be I, I'll wait till wait and see on that archetype I guess but yeah besides that how are you guys doing? Um, I'll probably post some deck prof profiles up here soon. I actually did play, yeah, there's my first one. I actually did another Dream Mirror of Terror. So they have two different field spells. It's kind of interesting. Um, kind of cool. It's like a light and dark archetype a little bit. But I will say for, this is going back to Nationals, almost over, a, it's over a month now already. We're almost getting to that Worlds Tournament. Uh, basically, another one, there we go. Uh, I played, ooh, we got Gizmic Orochi, the Serpent Trunk. The Serpentron Sky Slasher. This card's actually really good. A lot of people are kind of hyped about this card. Uh, it's got an interesting effect. I don't think it's like really broken right now, but it could be in the future. Um, it's a level eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, level eight machine monster. Orcus could maybe use this, but it's if this card is in your hand or graveyard, quick effect, you can banish eight cards from the top of your deck face down, special summon this card. You can banish three cards from your extra deck face down, then target one face up monster on the field, destroy it. You can only use one Gizmic Orochi, the Serpentron Sky Slasher effect per turn and only once. So you get to either summon him or if he's on the field, destroy uh, destroy a card. So uh, good secret rare. I, I think this is one of the better ones to pull out of the set. Um, and there's some some builds like you could pair this with like eater of millions on pot of desires and get some crazy shenanigans but i would say probably run like a 60 card deck there so um cool stuff going on i will say back to nationals yeah i played sky striker at the event um and then i ended up selling my sky striker stuff after the event and i got rid of a lot of there we go play set of those uh link mail archfiend not bad uh, I did. I didn't actually have my invite for this one. I went to two nat or two regionals this year, and I was on the bubble on one of them, and I did horrible on the other one. So I actually did not have my invite. And this is not a very good trap for the Marinces. I would recommend not playing it. We got Shaman of the Tenya. 
interesting card there. Um, I pulled that at my locals when I was playing for some pack or when I won my packs there, but eh, it is what it is. Uh, it's still a pretty solid card if you're playing the Tenyas. I think they're the new archetype as well, or maybe just got more support. I'm not super familiar on them, but yeah, played uh, the Sky Sharkers, and I did a LCQ at the Nationals and actually got it. If you guys don't know what LCQ is, basically it's last chance qualifier, so they run tournaments on the Friday before the actual national event, and if you win that, you get into the tournament. So we ended up winning that, um, and then main event, I went 3-0 right away. Hyped, right? And then I actually ended up going, or I lost two in a row, and then I was like, you know what, I don't really want to grind this out because if I lose one more time, I'm probably not going to get it to day two. Uh, and it was just like, I just literally just wanted to play side events. So I entered a side event the rest of that day. Um, and plus with nationals, it was like having to wait like 40 minutes between each match. Just kind of like sitting there waiting around for the next match. And I was like, no, I'd rather play side events. So I entered a side events, ended up losing it. Um, that was kind of the end of that day. And then on the Sunday, the last day, entered the one last side event. Ended up winning and got the cool Yu-Gi-Oh mat, but ended up selling it at the event. Um, and I got some really cool like blue eyes stainless steel cards that I'll show you guys. Um, they're actually official ones. They're they're not like they're not like this kind, like where they're kind of like fake metal, but uh, they're they're actually made by Konami. They're really really cool. Another Marinza Sea Star. We got a, we got enough of those. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so that was that was kind of my nationals. I had a good time. I basically sold like okay, I have my collection stuff. Right, like a lot of the hero stuff, some ghost stories and all that. But I sold like my main binder and my entire binder. So I didn't actually have like a binder for a very long time. Uh, it's kind of funny. And I just picked one up. We got Fortune Lady calling. Like, no, literally the actual binder. Like, uh, I sold most of my stuff. And then I had like a bunch of like leftover stuff in the binder. That I was like, oh, this is like kind of like like stuff that I don't really care about. And I was like, I'll just go see how much I can get at a vendor for it. Uh Took it to the vendor and I actually got it, sold it for like, it was, I think it was 75 or $80. I forget the exact amount, but it included the binder and the price. And there really wasn't any like a whole lot of crazy cards in there. So I was really happy about that. I thought at most I was going to get like $30. So I was extremely happy about that. Uh, that's just like my national stuff because I haven't talked to you guys in a long time. So uh, yeah, that's that. Other than that, the main channel, if you guys don't know, I have a main channel that has like, I think it's 880,000 or yeah, 880,000 now. We got Secret Rare Get Out. So Get Out is actually a very good trap card as well. The thing with Rising Rampage right now, a lot of the Secret Rares except for Apolosa, or Apolosa, Apolosa, I think I'm saying it right there, is uh, none of the Secret Rares really are worth too much money right now, but they're, it's kind of like probably because it's kind of like the off-season of Yu-Gi-Oh, um, the stuff really isn't like fully tier one, or no one really knows what tier one decks are at the moment, except for maybe Thunder Dragon and maybe like pure Orcus because of the ban list. So it's kind of like wait and see on a lot of this stuff. So if some of this stuff gets good in the future, like maybe the Marincess next set or some of this other stuff might go crazy, it could get a, like go up in price. And obviously like the the new rarity cards, if you pull those, oh gosh, you basically made your money back there uh, for a bunch of boxes. Morpheus the Dream Mirror Black Knight. All right, so not bad. But yeah, so other than that, like, I'm surprised I got that much for the, the leftover stuff that was in that binder, but it included the binder. That was the issues with that. So then I, I had, my, I was like, all right, well, I didn't have my binder for another, a little while. Then I took a little break after nationals and then I just picked up a binder, like literally just an, a binder in the plastic again to start putting cards in there. So uh, that is that. Now we are on to box number two. I kind of will show these off again. So our secret rare was, was this guy, ultra rare was this one. We had get out. So box number two. Sorry if it was just story time, basically me opening the box or me rambling. Um, if you don't like that, then then get out of here, right? Get out of the channel. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, that was that. And now we're now we're here. We've got heroes, built heroes. Maybe we'll just hold on to some Rinza stuff, see where that kind of goes, because it is like a fun little on dueling book. I kind of tested around with it. It is, it's it's got some potential for sure. It's very consistent. It's just like being locked into water monsters at the moment. Uh, I don't know if that's good or bad. Well, it's not a great thing. Another white howling. Okay. So I got a play set of white howlings, but I don't have a prismatic secret rare. <laughs> uh, I'm very doubtful we may even get one, but obviously like, I'm saying like in all of my boxes that I'm opening for the set, but if I get one, hey. It's all that matters, right? Because <laughs> I think it's like, I don't even know. Is it one in every 
I don't, I don't know the ratios. I'll have to look at the ratios again. Oh, there we go. Princess Seahorse. Happy about that because we need we need a couple of these. We need all three of them actually. This is the good Princess right now, but basically you can special to summon this card from your hand to your zone a Marincess Link Monster points to. You can only special summon Marincess Seahorse once per turn this way during your main phase, except the turn the card except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Special summon one moder water monster from your hand to your zone a Marincess Link Monster points to. You can only use the effect of Marincess Seahorse once per turn. So basically, you would normal summon this, go into the Marincess Link 1 monster, kind of similar to like um Salamangrate, where they have that Link 1 guy, um, Bay Links. So you go into the, I forget the Marincess Seekers, I don't even know. I forget the Marincess 1 name. Um, but yeah, kind of cool that it's like a one card combo, and then basically you add this back to, so basically normal summon this, go to the Link 1, then you see Seahorse Effect to special summon herself into that zone. You go up to their Link 2, and then their Link 2 is like special summon a Marincess monster in your graveyard to a zone of points too, and then you just have instantly their Link 3, which is really, really crazy. So, hopefully we pour, pull more of her. And there's really no good commons in this set that are like, you guys know like Panker Tops was a very good common when it, when that set came out. Uh, there's nothing too crazy in this one. It's so weird looking at that. It's a weird common, I don't know why. But this is an interesting one, Link Back. Target one Link monster you control in the extra monster zone. Move that monster you control to your main monster zone. It points to, then you can send cards from the top of your deck to the graveyard equal to its link rating. So for mill decks that are able to like get out a link monster, I guess that's just talking about the commons, that's an interesting common. Um, but it's very like milling three. Uh, is there a lot of mill decks right now besides from that are able to put out a link monster in time to be able to use that? Ooh. Cause I know a lot of like decks that want to utilize the graveyard, maybe need the graveyard first before they go into Link Monsters? I don't know. Maybe in the future someone will break it or be helpful for some build decks. <laughs> Grass is greener. I don't think that's ever coming back. But uh, we'll see. So we got the secret. There we go, Marincess Wave. That's what I was gonna say. We got the secret on this one and we're getting some Marincess stuff. That's what we're hyped about. Cause we, like I said, we're probably gonna hold on to it for a while, see how it goes, see what new support. I know they already announced the new support for the next set and it's pretty good. But in the future, we'll see if it gets more. But if you control a Marincess Link monster, target one face-up monster your opponent controls, negate that face-up monster's effects until the end of this turn. Then if you control a Link 2 or higher Marincess monster, all face-up monsters you currently control are unaffected by your opponent's card effects until the end of this turn. Basically, you're gonna have a Link 2 on your field, most more often than not. And it's, you're gonna be able to probably negate a card and then all your stuff is unaffected. That's pretty crazy. But this is the, this is the good part here. If you control a Link 3 or higher Marincess monster, you can activate this card from your hand. So you don't even need to set this card, you just need to have your Link 3 guy out. Um, the one stipulation is like if you don't have a Link monster, uh, you can't use this. So kind of like Salmangrate Rage or Roar or Rage and Roar. Roar, you need something on the field. But the one that has the Link monster. Um, so it's kind of like eh, but if you so if you get Kaiju, I guess that hurts, but if you can get a multiple of the Marincess monsters out, then you're pretty much golden. So, very good card. It gets in the gates out, um, protects your stuff. It's pretty crazy. Especially if you can keep your Link 3 out or more over. So we got another Morpheus, the Dream Mirror Black Knight. All right. Um, I would love for you to have been Marincess Seahorse, but I digress. So, Continuing on. Where's the Seeker Rare? Nowhere. Pulling a lot of the... The Senju, Mayo Senju. The Mayo Senju. Hitot. The Hutot. The Huhat. I don't know if you guys have that restaurant near you. Oh, uh, Spirit Sculptor. Interesting. Looks interesting for sure. You contribute one monster, add one monster from your deck to your hand whose combined original attack and defense equals the combined original attack and defense of the tribute to monster. You can only special summon this effect, or you can only use the effect of Spirit Sculptor once per That's interesting. That might get broken in the future. I don't really know, but it's got 2100 defense as a level four. So at, at, at worst, you could set it in defense with a 24, 20 or 2100 body there. So I don't know if I said 24 or 21. It's got 21. Oh, let's see how we do. Continuing on. 
I've, it's been a long time since I've opened booster box as well. Feels good, man. It's been a, it's a long time coming. I mean, I've opened some packs, but not the booster boxes. So, got an Apalooza. Did we get a Seeker Rare? Did our right side not have a Seeker Rare? Did I get gypped? Is this legit? I better get two Seeker Rares on this side. Oh my goodness. Did I get one of the, the crappy boxes? I was gonna say something else there. Am I, am I going crazy? Did I miss a Super Rare? Seeker Rare? Probably, I've seen it a lot this set where some boxes are only having one Seeker Rare. I don't know if that has to do with the new printing of stuff, but hopefully we get two Seeker Rares, maybe a parallel of Rare Seeker Rares. That would be awesome. I'll gladly trade that in for the two Seeker Rares. Princess Sea Star. Link Archfiend. So it's very. This is also the other one. This is our first time pulling this, I think. The Wind, the Wind Charmer, Verdant. This also comes in the parallel of the new rarity, basically. So. Can we get the Goddess Bow? Parallel, new rarity, prismatic, whatever you want to call it. I know I've said that 500 times this video. <sighs> Boral X Charge Dragon. So there's our Ultra Rare. Man. Secret Rare, you're making me nervous. Yeah, we definitely missed one. White Howling. All right. Another one of that. Well, we got a couple packs left, guys. I'm getting nervous. I might have to go through all of my comments to see if I accidentally missed it, but I don't think I would. I don't think I'm that tired yet. I mean, it's a little late in the night, but it's probably right here. Hyper Nova Burst. Oh my God, where is it? Where is the secret? I'm running out of card space or space to put the comments. Please be the Seeker Rare. Or the, the new Rarity. We'll take anything. Come on. Oh no, it's this guy. Gizmic Orochi, the Serpent Sky Blaster. Well, he's not, like I said, he's not a bad pull. But we only got one Seeker Rare, so I feel like we should have been compensated at least with the, per the Parallel Rare, right? The new Rarity, maybe in this pack. Have to wait and see. Nope. So, I'm gonna double check just to make sure I did not miss a Seeker Rare. So somehow, I don't know how we missed this, we pulled the Appalooza, Bow of the Goddess. I'm just kidding, um, but this is the chase card of the set. I actually ended up splitting, like, after a tournament where it was, like, winner on winner pack, there was, like, three rounds. There was a box they were pulling from, and no one pulled a secret. So there was, like, six six packs left on, like, each side. So my friend bought one, and I bought the other side, and I ended up pulling the Appalooza, the Goddess Bow. Um, he ended up pulling the uh, Sky Blaster, or Sky, Sky Slasher Secret Rare. So I ended up pulling this. And got lucky earlier but today yeah we seriously did only end up pulling three secret rares so not this one but if you guys don't know what this one does by now this is the best card of the set because it takes it's a link four uh, it takes two monsters with different names except tokens so you can only control one apalooza bow of the goddess the original attack of this card becomes 800 times the number of link materials used for its link summon once per chain when your opponent activates a monster effect Quick effect, you can make this card lose exactly 800 attack, and if you do, negate the activation. So it negates monster effects. If you use four cards for this, it has four negates, but then that'll it'll lose attack, obviously, every time you negate something, but negates monster effects. So very good link for, for setting up a board with negates. Um, then we can pull two of this guy, one get out. So these are the only three we pulled today from the boxes. Unfortunately, the Ultra Rares, we only got one Marincis Seahorse. I wanted to get more. I wanted to get my playset and one Marincis Wave. Obviously, wanted to get more of that as well. Um, we got Spirit Sculptor, Ecolus, the Dream Mirror Sprite, Shaman of the Tenya, Fortune Lady Calling, and then two of the Morpheus Dream, Dream Mirror Black Knight. But, hey, it happens sometimes. Sometimes you get really lucky. Sometimes you don't. We'll have a couple more boxes to open up, hunting for that new rarity. But thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Stay tuned for more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And I'll see you guys later.